Hey guys, we'll have some talk craft today uh, regarding master. Is now I said I will be organizing a meeting with some guys that uh, understand cop very well, like two two or zero. But until I do this, I will do in this video just my own opinions on masteries uh because it's not easy to catch these guys online these days so especially too too uh so uh and let's start okay let's go in order so for raynor uh raynor i think is a fair master is research resource cost uh, mostly if you're playing mac because you're trading less, you don't want to trade much or make units, but uh, you trade more for bio. So sp you, you want to use speed increase if you're going mass marine. Uh, so fair, Hyperion or Banshee uh, cooldown also fair. Sometimes you, need, you want Banshee, sometimes you want Hyperion. Uh, medic skill additional target or mech attack speed, whether you play bio or mech. So Raynor's Masteries are fair. Uh, so are uh, the Kerrigans, I think, think these first few commanders have fair masteries. Energy region, uh, definitely in, uh, if you're playing uh, Desolate Queen, uh, maybe if you're playing Queen of Blades or Malevolent Matriarch, you wanna, well, it's fair to use one, either of them. But for Folly of Man, always attack damage because uh, you don't use abilities so much and... Uh, he, uh, she wanna uh, want more damage, so that's uh, okay. Combat unit Vespin gas cost now. I pretty much never use this, but it is fair. I use a mobilization if you want to uh, rely more on army, then you wanna combat unit Vespin gas uh, cost. Uh, and also the same thing here expeditious evolution, so primary ability damage and attack speed. I always use this uh, ability damage and attack speed, but. Uh, Expeditious evolutions is also fair, like uh, it's 60%, so it's pretty attractive. So, if you want to use this, well, okay, it's not bad <coughs> for Artanis. Now, Artanis uh, shield overcharge uh, always if you're actually commanded because you know, don't have Guardian Shell. In other cases, I pretty much always use Guardian Shell Mastery. Energy region and cooldown reduction. If you're going like Valorous Inspirator, for example, because you wanna, you don't wanna trade your uh, High Templars, so you wanna have them all the game and hold the game faster region. So it's uh, okay to use this if you, or if you're going like Tempest, for example, to have more disintegrate. But uh, speed increase is mostly for if you trade more like if you're just going Zealot Dragoon. So. Uh, that's both fair. Chrono boost efficiency on initial maximum speed of energy. Now uh, I use uh, Chrono boost fairly much. Like I actually use. Uh, you want to use uh, energy if you're actually commanded or Nexus Legat. Uh, but if you're like Power or Inspirator, like to Chrono to have like uh, upgrades, critical upgrades like Whirlwind or Storm Plasma Surge. So it's both fair for this commander. But uh, <coughs> five commanders have a uh, Chrono boost efficiency and. I definitely would replace this with something else for some of them. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay, for the for Swan, Swan also has fair masteries. Uh, concentrated beam is really good, especially on Oblivion Express and Chain of Ascension. Chain of Ascension is a linear map. You can clear a lot of enemy base bases with a single strike. So. Uh, lot portion so it's uh, pretty good and especially on Bleeding Express you can kill the first train just with concentrated beam and uh, also other trains do a lot of damage and kill a lot of escorts so it's pretty fair and, and uh, combat drop on maps when you need to push especially on the maps where uh, uh, the expansions are guarded so it's uh, fair uh, master is uh, both are very useful uh, in specific occasions, immortality protocol, especially if you're going pilot, pilot direction, if you want to go mass tanks, <coughs> otherwise structure health, so it's also okay. Vestment drone cost, <coughs> if you're gonna wanna go straight into uh, units, like if you're pilot director, if you're going, if you're playing on Dead of Night or Manor Uh 
going straight into units, then of course you're gonna waste your own cost, otherwise laser drill, especially if you have a weapon specialist, you want laser drill uh, mastery, so both are fair. For Zagara, now if you remember back then, it was worse, but then they, and this early evasion was uh, interfering with bending attack damage, I was always, and it was like roach damage or intensive at frenzy, I didn't like that, I like this now very much uh, better when the prestige in were introduced uh, and this was like Zagara attack damage or Zagara energy region but this was not viable if you're score Scourge Queen so they will they changed it to like Zagara and Queen region so at least you have Queen region now for a Scourge Queen I mean okay I don't think what else you could replace it with so okay Zagara and Queen region pretty much always but if you're Apex Predator who was it Judas or Jedrex I think it was Jedrex told me that he would like to use uh, attack damage mastery because with Medu medusa blades that you upgrade you deal splash damage so then attack damage is more viable and you don't need uh, a lot of i did video about this few days ago uh don't need a lot of uh, region because already has a lot of uh, increased region if you don't spam uh bailings like crazy so okay i mean I leave it like this uh, although even with Apex Predator, if you like, for example, this fixed mutation, uh, you have Void Drifts, then you still need a, uh, uh, a regen because you you actually need to spam Bane Links like crazy. Okay, uh, Intensified Frenzy. Uh, I mean, Zergling Evasion in most cases, but if you're a mother of constructs, if you don't use Zergling, if you just go Aberrations, then they will definitely want Intensified Frenzy, and I mostly use Bending Attack Damage, but okay, Roaches also can be uh, viable, I mean, it is uh, like this 60%, so it, it's okay, the drop deals more damage, and individual ro uh, Roaches have more life and deal more uh, damage so it's it's okay can be useful in some situations now we get to warazun warazun is the one that i would uh, i definitely would change now dark pile on range and blood black hole duration that's fair mostly use dark pile on range especially if you need if you need to wall off early game but uh uh, for uh, black hole duration you need if you're fighting really some nasty mutator that you need uh, to keep enemies longer in black hole especially if you have heroes from the storm uh, <coughs> so that's uh, also fair so both masteries are useful shadow guard duration now this one like time stop unit speed increase uh, was a lot used before the prestiges but now everybody play, uh, pretty much play keeper of shadows because it's so strong that uh, you can always, if you're playing mutations, you always want Keeper of Shadows. And uh, so I would, uh, what I would do here, I already talked about uh, would I change with Commanders, but I, I didn't kind of know what to do with Warazun, but I think I got a, a, an idea. So first, I would change Keeper of Shadows, like sh not uh, disadvantage having Shadow Guard duration, uh, reduced, but actually for units, uh, cost like so you have normal shadow guards but unit cost uh, increased by 30 percent so if you need air units you would have to pay more for them well, i think it's fair because you have uh, more shadow guards and they are very powerful like every time you use time stop you get a lot of shadow guards and more as time uh, it increases because you are using more of them so uh, uh, so I would make this uh, disadvantage, like your combat unit cost increased by 30%, and then Spirit of Respite, because I would play this more, but I can always, uh, and I think, oh, let's play some Spirit of Respite, but then, like, uh, then uh, Dark Pile and Slow's Recall, this advantage is really bad, because the mobility... Uh, for Warazone is really really a good thing so I would make Shadow Guard duration reduction over here for Spirit of Respite and I would make it like 50% uh, but uh, I would actually make them to keep uh, recall now that would make it a lot more viable because then you can place Dark Pylon if we have Dark Pylon Mastery in the combat so it has pretty good range so you can fight in Pylon range and uh, keep your units uh, 
even if you're not using uh, cloak tunes, like if you're using stalkers that are not always cloaked, or if you're using like some dark archons could also be recalled, or uh, or uh, void rays, for example, you, you you use void rays on minor evacuation, otherwise void rays pretty much suck. But uh, it would be a lot more uh, viable if it still have a recall. Uh, so uh, because now Keeper of Shadows is just too strong uh, compared to other prestiges, and then also uh, people would probably not uh, put uh, so much stock in Shadow Guards and time use more time stop uh, unit speed increase uh, mastery. Now Zero told me that in specific situations he used this. Uh, because when he was playing against Bio, so he walled off so the, they couldn't enter the base on uh, the uh, Cradle of Death, and then you can use Time Stop to just ignore the enemies, just go straight to Constructs, kill them, and place trucks. So that, that in that case, Time Stop unit speed increase mastery was, but that's just one specific, uh, specific uh, occasion. Otherwise, you always use Shadow Guard duration now. And with this change, I think that would be more viable again. Uh, chrono boost efficiency is the thing that Vorazon definitely doesn't need because you always want to use initial maximum speed of energy. You need for uh, Shadow Guard, you need for uh, uh, Dark Pants, for Black Holes. So uh, it's pretty much important for Vorazon. So. Uh, now maximum is not so important because you never wanna uh, let it go to maximum because uh, then you're definitely playing it wrong because you as far as you always wanna use the energy. Sometimes you wanna save some for specific thing like you don't wanna if you know you will need shadow guards in future. The, then you save it, not not use black hole or not use some dark pylon, but uh, definitely don't want to not use it and all, let it go to maximum. So, uh, but initial, that is the important, like uh, you need initial. So to make it more uh, competitive here, I would definitely replace this with, let's say, uh, uh, the Spirit of Adun increased uh, generation rate so you would have you would choose like if you want uh, initially more energy like you can have a uh, 90 energy with full mastery or uh, to have it increased uh, to have it uh, regenerate faster like let's say 45 percent or 60 below 45 i would, uh, think it would be too unattractive below 60 it would be too much but i think it would be fair to have it like <coughs> 45 percent uh for longer maps, that would be pretty uh, good. So that would be more attractive to choose between if you want to early. Sometimes you really need a uh, early master, especially if you need the dark pile on early, if you wall off like for an rift to core hall or so. But uh, on um, some maps, if it would be uh, more energy later because of the fast region, then. Uh, that would definitely be viable because nobody uses Chrono Boost efficiency <laughs> for uh, Vorazun. Okay, uh, for uh, Karax, uh, Karax, uh, I think Masteries are fair. Uh, combat unit life and shields if your Templar apparent. Uh, otherwise, well, pretty much always structural life and shields. Um, repair beam, healing rate. Uh, now, uh, yeah, repair, uh, repair beam healing rate always uh, solar at celestial because you don't have chrono. But, uh, and in most cases, repair beam healing rate, but uh, chrono wave energy generation is uh, good for, especially for Architect of War. Because, as Architect of War, in some cases, like if you're on Oblivion Express, you don't need stronger repair beam because you have stronger repair beam already. Uh, by default with the uh, prestige, so uh, you don't need more, it's enough. So, Chrono Wave Energy Regeneration actually can help you have uh, more Spirit of Adunan Energy, so uh, that it's also uh, good. Uh, and Chrono Boost Efficiency, like uh, I in most cases use an initial and maximum Spirit of Adunan Energy to clear rocks or enemies so you can expand uh, faster, but uh, like. Uh, in some cases, when you don't have expansion, like on Dead of Night, or uh, on Minor Evac, uh, 
And it's not enough, Spiro. I don't not enough to clear because a lot of stuff you have to clear everything to expand. There are two bunkers and there are fairly, um, quite a few infested there and structures. So uh, uh, on that map, I like to. If you, I'm going like Templar apparent, I like to Chrono uh, Immortals. So uh, uh, Chrono Boost efficiency, I would leave it uh, for Carax. Uh, okay, uh, Abatur's Master is uh, really good now. I uh, actually rarely change them as except this one. Toxic Nest Damage I always use, but main hand healing duration is 300% uh, if you use this. And um, I think it's always good to have something in Toxic Nest Damage. But I saw Lila soloing some mutations like on Minor Evacuation, he's pretty much the best Abatur, one of the best Abatur players. So uh, Put, uh, I don't, can't remember how many points in toxic nest damage, so he can two shot aberrations, and then rest in demand, which is okay. So I'm thinking it's good to have it like this, uh, and of course this symbiote ability improvement if you wanna use uh, ultimate evolutions, if you're essence hoarder, or if you're going tunneling horror and just wanna use swarm hosts, then of course always double biomass chance. So these both are very good. Uh, and I always use 327 split, I think this is the best split like between Toxic Nest and Structure More, so these are both uh, a good uh, uh, masteries and you always, I think, want to have some split between them. I think 327 is optimal for most cases, so I actually never never change it. Okay, for Alarak, Alarak is another commander with Chrono Boost efficiency is actually pretty much useless. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Alarak attack damage is uh, like, if you're going Ascendance, you don't definitely don't want to combat unit attack speed because their attack is uh, nothing, like they're a little bit stronger than a probe, so uh, their spells are important, so you want Alarak attack damage. If you're going Robot, then you can use the combat unit attack speed. Uh, empower mid duration, uh, like if you're shadow of that, you always want to empower mid duration because that fleet, you always have that fleet, so cooldown is not uh, viable there. Unless you losing your death fleet, but if you, you if you lose that fleet, then you have it again immediately. If you lose it the second time, then you're definitely playing bad. So, <laughs> so I mean, at least what uh, empower me. Uh, duration, but uh, in some cases, if you're other prestige, especially if you want more mobility than that fleet, uh, cooldown is okay, so this is okay. But this uh, Chrono Boost efficiency, like structure or overcharge, is always better. Although Ayur told me that uh, 22 points here is enough to clear the rocks, and then he puts 8% per in Chrono. But I mean, it's like structure overcharge is always good because it's also later in the game is also good for support for uh, to support to support your army or to clear some stray units somewhere some weaker attack wave so special maps where you have harass waves so i think i would uh, replace chrono here with uh, combat unit cost now combat unit cost let's say one per percent per point so 30 percent decrease uh, in combat unit cost that would be that would be pretty attractive then and i think that uh, then e e people would use it most but uh, <coughs> it's same thing as uh, warazun chrono boost efficiency for alarak is not just not a thing so uh definitely i would replace this with combat uh, unit cost uh, reduction okay so that's for alarak uh, Nova's master is now new can hold a decon cooldown not pretty much always use it with infiltration specialist or in most cases Griffin R strike for the other prestiges uh, actually for the soldier of fortune tactical dispatcher I rarely use uh, but I already said in the video uh, what I would do to these uh, prestige to make it more attractive so I don't want to repeat myself uh nova primary ability improvement i pretty much always use it i think that actually this uh 15 percent i think it might be 30 so it would be better uh have this on 30 percent combat unit attack speed or at least like 22.5 like if you have a 
uh, 0.75 per uh, per okay maybe 30 would be too much right but uh, 22.5 like uh, instead of 0.5 per uh, per uh, per point 0.5 percent it would be 0.75 so it would be 22.5 uh, that could be more attractive because I always can use uh, uh, probability improvement for no either your whether your soldier of fortune then of course mm, snipe is always good like a uh, hundred uh, more damage with full mastery and also the penetrating blast and uh, even if infiltration specialist then definitely you want your uh, your the sabotage drone to do more uh, damage so uh, that's that's always uh, always better so to make it more attractive i think it was even even 30 percent maybe it would be okay not too much energy region or unit life region well if you're infiltration specialist always unit life region but otherwise you kind of balance balance this sometimes you're going to full air then maybe even full in nova energy region because you have ravens to heal sometimes you wanna i like to have it like 20 points in nova energy region and two points for unit life region, especially if I'm going bio to get, have some healing, so that's uh, that's uh, fair master is, but this one I think needs to be a little bit more attractive. Uh, Stukov's master is are I think fair volatile infested sponge chains. I was using this always before uh, for Lord of the Horde, but these days I I realized that infested structure cooldown is actually almost always better but uh, I mean volatile infested is fair in fact the compound but also Alexander so so it is fair in some cases I still use it uh, <coughs> Alexander or Apocalypse cooldown both uh, okay infested uh, some cases you want Alexander some cases Apocalypse infested infantry duration or mech attack speed is whether you use Lord of the Horde or Frightful Flesh Welder I don't wanna even mention Plague Warden because Plague Warden is a shit of a prestige so <laughs> uh, <coughs> so it's two cause masteries are fair now for Phoenix uh, pretty much always use offline energy regeneration but then attack speed is 60% so and you can use it uh it's it's okay uh, yeah the same thing here i always use attack speed but life and shields is also double the value it's uh, 60 so you might want to use this maybe if you are uh, okay if you are a network administrator then then you have a lot of attack speed i think it also has some upper limits so when i use uh, life and shields fair now here first I was thinking and I also did one video about that to replace uh, like uh, kernel boost efficiency also for Phoenix because extra starting supply is like uh, you say for six pylons you have 60 supply ad additional at start so it's uh, good and I was thinking uh, uh, of replacing chrono boost efficiency with like maximum supply one per point so you choose like extra starting supply or uh, or you could go to 230 supply with full mastery here but uh, then again uh, in some cases you really uh, need to chrono caldalis like on rifts to core on some mutations so I think actually I would leave Chrono Boost efficiency for uh, Phoenix. Um, the Haka, the Haka's masteries are okay. Devour healing increase uh, in kind of most cases. If you're devouring one, and devour buff duration because also affects uh, your units near the Haka and allies units. So. Uh, it's okay, and if you are uh, very confident that you will not lose the Haka even with less healing, if you're a good player, so then you want to use the war buff and duration. Uh, here, pack leaders active duration if you are not primal contender. If you are, then you want to use greater primal worm because uh, uh, otherwise uh, the pack leaders would overlap, but they cannot overlap because you can have only one at a time. And also, if you're having mutations like void rifts like we have this week then you definitely want to uh, warm cold down regardless of the prestige you're using because uh, I mean prestige probably the best uh, brood brother but uh, you want a greater primal worm because uh, you need worms to counter the rifts 
and gene mutation chance i pretty much use mostly gene mutation chance but uh, if you wanna play like mass worms which i sometimes have fun with then of course the hack attack speed uh, or um, if you're brute brother then it has more value because you have to the hackers so it's a fair the hackers master is fair now for Han and horner Strike fighter area of effect if you want to clear enemy bases uh, with strike fighters uh, or uh, of course if you're dead of night and clearing there then you definitely need this and I'm using it for, for void rifts but I was thinking actually like for void rifts the, the damage is the same the only thing is that if you don't have this master it's a bigger chance of missing the rift especially if you're doing if you're just clicking on the minimap but if you're confident you wa don't want to miss, then you want to use stronger that chance. And if you're not using strike fighters at all, then of course always stronger that chance mastery. Uh, but this here, like salvage, is pretty bad. If you compare it, for example, with Kerrigan's uh, simulation aura, like uh, this salvage, this salvage is uh, like very little, like very little. So. To make it more attractive, this double uh, I would uh, replace uh, double salvage chains uh, with actually salvage value, so you will have fixed value, not just uh, what was the chance, 60% chance to get double double drop. I would get fixed value, and I would get like 150, maybe even 180 percent with full mastery. So like salvage value to be bigger, then it would be more attractive because otherwise uh, it's it's just bad so that's the thing okay the last one earthly travel distance or mag mines uh, both useful in specific uh, locations so uh, it's it's okay uh tycho's master is also okay tycho attack speed or shredder grenade in most cases you use shredder grenade but sometimes it's okay <coughs> to use attack speed Three out research improvement, I pretty much always use this, or most cases, but if you're a dutiful dog walker, oh, no, 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 actually, that's, that's the last one, but uh, out of ability, availability in some cases, when I have uh, more outlaws, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that could be fair, and uh, power set three, <coughs> medivac pickup cooldown, in most cases, but Odin cooldown, well, sometimes you want more nukes, or if you do the full dog walker, or if you're confident that you do, you will not lose your uh, outlet, that you not, do not need so much mobility or so much uh, uh, pick up, uh, emergency pickups to heal, then you can go all in cooldown. So it's okay. Tacos's masteries are okay. Zeratul's masteries uh, are also, I think, okay. Zeratul attack speed in most cases, even. Uh, if you're not going cannons, if you're going Void Templars, if you're going cannons, then of course, but if you're going uh, Blinky Boys like uh, Void Templars or Stalkers, then their blink abilities are most more important than their actually attack speed, so um, I think there are two attack speed is still more valuable, but uh, combat unit attack speed is good for Robo, uh, like if you are on... Uh, Minor evacuation, for example, because on minor evacuation is always uh, the best to go robo, and then you have continuously enemy waves, waves uh, continuously coming at you. So, uh, I mean, actually, not waves, but I mean, it is kind of waves, but uh, continuous enemy attacks. So, uh, uh, then uh, you want to use combat unit attack speed, so both are useful masteries. Artifact fragment spawn races for. Uh, P0, P1, or P2, uh, but if you're Herald of the Void, then you just first start your items, of course, uh, always available at the start when you get Zeratul out, and then you just have one to one other to pick, so in that case, I mean, you can delay it for one minute and instead choose support cold and cooldown reduction, because then it's for, uh, for a Legion, more Legions, and also for more... Uh, other top bar like you can have more monoliths or if you choose crystal then of more often have uh, crystal so that's the <coughs> that thing so both are okay and here i mostly use avatar cooldown but for hero the void of course there are two fragments you don't have avatar so you have a legendary legion cost so that's uh that's uh both uh, viable and good masteries now for statman 
For stat man, hmm. Gary ability cooldown even if your signal 7, like it's always better than just upgrade resource cost and it's a really bad master because it's just for, uh, it's, uh, just cost not the cooldown and upgrades just the attack and armor upgrades so to make it a little bit more, uh, uh, more competitive I would make it research research cost and so not just upgrades it is 60% but just upgrades not enough also all the research to be uh, cost uh, reduced then it could be a little bit more viable I think Gary ability cooldown would still be better uh, so to make this actually attractive I would make it it should be like uh, research resource cost and uh, time reduction so the researchers researches would also be done faster but then Statman is very strong, it would make Statman even stronger, so I don't know, <laughs> but definitely would change it to research resource cost to make it a little bit more attractive. Uh, Stands on bonuses are, you in most cases want to use this, you use maximum energy pool only if you're going Bane Leaks, because Bane Leaks uh, is one, are one time use units, so you don't want to like use them and then have uh, like uh, stats and bonus to heal them or to recharge them faster so that's uh, for banelings this maximum energy pool because they do more damage when they have more energy but uh, otherwise I always want to use stats and bonuses but okay for banelings like this both have their uses so it's okay to have it like this and these two I always pretty much use structure more for eight but I know some very good players like Zero for example that uh, have points in deploy satellite cooldown so uh, yeah sometimes you don't need to rush super Gary so uh, yeah it's both viable masteries okay uh, and for Arcturus for Arcturus like this first is okay whether you're using a, a principal proletariat then you want to uh, guard uh, imperial support otherwise laborer and troopers imperial support uh, same thing for power set 2 for principal proletariat you want a uh, royal guard cost otherwise terrible damage although uh, I think somebody said like zero I think that tell me, told me that uh, terrible damage is kind of always better for him but I like to uh, royal guard cost and uh, this one is problematic because um, it's not enough. It's uh, real guard experience gain at fifty percent is just too little. I would make it double. Thirty percent would be kind of okay because otherwise, I mean, for for starting imperial mandate to have six workers at the start drop bunker and turn the troopers into workers, and you have six workers at the start, then you can ramp up much faster, and you can also have your even if you're principal proletariat, you have your uh, royal guard faster because you your eco is better so to make uh, this experience gain rate uh, more attractive I would make it like double that value like 30% maybe even more maybe even 45 but I think 30 would be uh, okay so yeah that's the that's what I would change uh, for max okay that's the things I would change uh, maybe I sometimes make another video with uh, more guys here to uh, hear some other opinions in the meantime I can hear your opinion you can comment please comment and tell what you would do uh, and thanks for uh, watching so um, you can also support me on patreon uh, see you guys